Well, uh, excuse me. You know you can't smoke that in here. Right. Okay. Well, pretty much drawing and writing. <clears throat> what happens to these drawings? Just as you requested. I make sure everything is scanned, and then it's all shredded. Before anyone impressionable can get a hold of it. Good. Now, has he hurt himself or anyone else since he's arrived? No. He's been pretty calm, actually. Although, he kept in solitude pretty much from day one. In fact, I'm the only one that he has direct contact with. As for hurting himself, well, let's face it. There's not a hell of a lot you can do with one pencil and a piece of paper. a little bit about your job. Hello, Scott. My name is Mr. I don't care who you are. What do you want from me? Information, Scott. What we want is information. I haven't told him anything. What makes you think I'll say anything to you? You're right, O'Brien. He's one stubborn son of a bitch. Well, let me ask you, Scott. You have a daughter. Claire, is it? And you have a son. Anthony, was it? Leave them out of this. Oh, I would never intentionally hurt them. <laughs> but the people I work for, they're on a timeline. They want answers. They want you to tell us what you know, and where he is. No! Uh, security! Security! Don't you dare! All right, calm down, Scott. Leave them Scott, out of this! Down. Hold on. Scott, come down, come down. He's okay, buddy. It's okay, it's okay. There you go. There you go, there you go. Like I said, Scott, I'm not going to touch them. What happens to them is not a... what? I'm sick of this. Your mom left and your dad went nuts. They didn't die. I'm not made out of money, you know. back for us, you know? She didn't come back for our birthdays, Thanksgiving. She's not coming back for us now. Maybe she can't come back. Maybe she wants to, but she just can't. Claire? 
Hmm? You think dad is crazy? No. Neither do I. I'll meet you after school at 3 p.m., okay? If people ask you questions about dad, you don't have to answer them. So what's so important that it's worth potentially irreparably damaging your education? Before my father was taken away, he gave me this. What is it? I don't know. He said it contains confidential information that you know what to do with it. Claire, you know that I care very much for you and your family. But I don't think it's my nor the church's business to get involved with your father's more troubling matters. Father Barr, you know my dad. Do you think he's crazy? Doesn't matter what I think. What matters is, he took a life. Out of self-defense. That's for other institutions and not mine to decide. My father would never hurt anybody unless he had no other choice. Please, you've got to take it. He entrusted me with this. He said that this was his last confession. Please, it's your job. Okay. I'll take a look. Thank you. But you've got to promise me that you won't skip school anymore. Okay? Right. All right, get going. Father Barr. Right, how did you know? Uh, right. How are you doing? Sorry to hear you. This is my music. All right, so you said on the phone that there's something I can help you with. Right, Dr. Tanaka, and I don't want to take up too much of your time, but a close friend of mine, he, he got in touch with me and asked me to reach out to you. He said that you're the best cytologist in the area and that you really need to take a look at these. Okay, so what am I looking at here? He, he didn't tell me specifically what it was. But he did say that my prayers may be needed.
Yes. I tagged her as Skylar requested. What happened to him? Ow! You chloroformed him? Just a little something to calm him down. It's kind of a lightweight. <sighs> I'm taking a nap. Alright, I'll wake up when we get there. Is he... Whatever, Dad? Yeah. So, what was your friend's name again? Scott Jones. He was a colleague of yours, a microbiologist, to be exact. Okay. He, I've heard of him. He, he actually killed a man two and a half months ago. Yeah, they ruled him insane, and now he's sitting in Redwood Psychiatric Hospital. Oh, I see. So, who or, or what is this? Well, according to this, it's still alive. Alive? Uh, yeah, alive, but very injured. Well, I mean, I've never seen anything like this. These are eukaryote cells, but they don't have sentry links. And, and what does that mean to us non sciency types? All right. While these cells are animal cells, they are incapable of reproducing, of, of healing. So for an animal cell, not be able to go through mitosis? I mean, that just doesn't happen. Unless he's a plant. It doesn't look much like a plant to me. So what do we do now? Do we take Plant Man to the hospital? No, absolutely not. We stay here. We figure out what it is. Well, uh, maybe you don't know too much about the collar, but it traditionally means I don't know anything about these types of things and we need to just call the police we need to get an ambulance we just yeah, we can't no no we can't leave we can't tell anybody about this damn what's going on here i mean i've never seen anything like it before i mean cell structure is i don't know it's a theory but uh, i don't know it's what what is it it's just a theory but this could Where have you been? I haven't heard anything from you all day. I called everybody. You know, just because you're angry doesn't mean that you can just... What? Did you lose your key? And where's your brother? Hey! Hey, I'm talking to you! Don't... Ah! An extraterrestrial? E.T., close encounters, aliens... Okay, look, now you're just listening to me. This is crazy. You're telling me that Scott abducted and tortured his own alien. Please. We need to figure out what's going on here, and I need your help. You're a witness to all of this, and I can't go to anyone else. I can't tell this to anyone. Fine. But if I'm going to help you, we're not going to let this thing die. We're going to take care of it. Okay, great. All right. Uh, first thing we need 
if someone said it was. Scott used to have some real anxiety problems. I bet he's got something around here. Let me see what I can find. And the address. Scott. Scott. Just tell him what he wants to know. And it'll all be over. There is no address. You travel northeast of the city to a place called Buttersfield. There's a shed there. And in it, you'll find what you're looking for. And that's all, no surprises? That's all. Well, all right, I think we're done here for now. <laughs> yeah, it's Skyler. Tell him that we have the location and then we're on our way. Wait, what about my children? Oh, like I told you. We'll leave their fate to the Inyas. You son of a bitch! I think I may know why your friend needed your prayers. What? W why? Because I don't think he was trying to hurt whatever this is. He was trying to nurse it back to health. 